Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show how you can connect your Redmi Note 3 with your Android Studio. So if you're watching this video, it means uh, like you're facing issues, your Android Studio is not getting, not showing your Redmi Note 3 device or maybe like some Android device which is not getting shown into your Android Studio. So this particular video is going to explain how you can connect your Redmi Note 3, okay? So it might work for another kind of Android devices as well, but let's go with Redmi Note 3 only because I'm having this one right now. So what happened recently I bought this device and I thought why not start doing some development. I did the like tapping thing and became the developer and connected my USB with my device and finally I was not finding anything into my ADB. Okay, so now as you can see I can find this particular device in, uh, in this uh, in the device panel and I can run this particular application into my Android device but initially when I launched this particular thing there was nothing so how did like uh, how we can do the same thing so basically whenever you connect your Redmi Note 3 and you cannot find your device here first of all you need to download a particular software which we call iOS registry okay after downloading this like iOS registry explorer you have to click on that like you have to load it and then you have to go to the you like ios io usb and then you find you have to find your device in in uh, like usb panel and then you have to find your id vendor like as you can see this id vendor is 0x2717 okay so all you have to do is to copy this one okay and then if you're using mac you can go to finder and then you can go to like uh, uh, go to folder and then once you go to folder you have to like select this particular uh, path okay you have to go here once you go here and you have to like uh, once you click go you reach to the Android installation part like a folder structure basically and uh, you go there let, let, let it go yes I'm here okay so once I go here I can see this adb usb ini right dot ini file so basically what does this file do uh, basically what does this file do it allows you to add third party vendors okay so for this Android studio maybe this device this redmi note device is a third party like whose uh, hardware id has not been given so all you have to do is to go there, edit this particular file. So I have already opened this particular file in my Sublime Editor and I've added this here, okay. So you just add it, okay. Save this particular file, go to your ADB. You can go to your ADB by following like a path, okay. So making it clear. And if you go here, oh, let me just show you. If you go here, <laughs> okay, so in my computer it is installed in C Uges Vasu Naman Library Android SDK Platform Tool. So you have to go here, CD. Let me first do the clear. Okay, and then CD, find the path. You are inside. So once you click LS, you can find this ADB is here, and you have to restart the ADB. Okay, so to restart ADB, you have to like write this particular command so don't do this if you're inside this particular folder like this it will not work and if you want to do this you have to add this into your bash means you have to make it global so if you if you have not ever added this into into your global as a as a global path you have to do something like this dot and then start server once you do a start server you can actually start finding your device here okay so i believe with this particular feature like technique and can work for other devices as well and other vendors as well so let's give it a try and let me know if it works okay thank you thanks for your time take care